I'm Eric Hoke, and this is my presentation of Stephen Hall. Stephen Hall is a world-renowned architect made famous by an innovative take on postmodern architecture. He was born on December 9, 1947, in Bremerton, Washington, just west of Seattle. Some of Hall's better-known projects are the Kaizma Contemporary Art Museum in Helensky, Finland, and the Chapel of St. Ignatius in Seattle, Washington. He is also responsible for several desirable watercolor paintings. In the 1970s, Hall graduated from the University of Washington and shortly after moved to Rome to study architecture. In 1976, he joined the Architectural Association and established his office in New York City. He currently resides there and has been teaching Columbia University since 1981. Hall has been featured in the Time Magazine and declared America's best architect for buildings that satisfied the spirit as well as the eye. He has also received several awards for architecture. In 1998, he was given the Alvar Alato Medal, which is awarded every four years for significant contributions to architecture. Stephen Hall is famous for several of his residential homes. One of the more popular and vibrantly dynamic ones is the Stretto House in Dallas, Texas, built in 1982. Set in a wooded area with a river flowing through it, it is reminiscent of Frank Lloyd Wright's Falling Water. When visiting the site for the Stretto House, he was inspired by the spring-fed river that flowed through the land. The river had several concrete dams, which poured into small ponds, creating a constant murmur. Hall was ultimately influenced by one of his students after engaging in a conversation about music. He asked his student if they knew any compositions that related to flowing water. His student informed him of the musical device called the stretto form, which is in one musical phrase overlaps another, much like the water flowing over the dams. Finally, Hall chose composer Bella Bortok to be his inspiration for this assignment. He felt the song, music for strings, percussion, and celestra was perfect for divining the space for this home. The song consists of four movements that distinctly relate to how the home was constructed. The instrumentation corresponds to the materiality of the home. The percussion represents the large concrete block volumes that define the library and the kitchen. The strings signify the light penetrating the space between the large block structures. Large metal planes that have curvilinear forms are used consistently to cover the entire house. Around the world, Stephen Hall was responsible for the production of several public spaces and buildings that are places of learning. A highly valued piece of architecture is his Chapel of St. Ignatius in Seattle, Washington, built in 1997. It was built for Seattle University to accommodate over 6,000 people. This building has become a symbol for the university and is one of the more studied churches in recent years. Hall describes his work as seven bottles of light in a stone box. Beams of light entering through colored spaces in the ceiling divide the interior of the chapel. The procession and the narthex of the chapel are highlighted by natural sunlight, giving a heavenly feeling to its inhabitants. The colors descending from the ceiling organize the entire interior space of the chapel as well as create a metaphor for light as a creation of the divine. Although the interior of this space is very lively and inspiring, the exterior is often criticized for having undesirable qualities. This is mostly because of the large, seemingly random windows that occur around the structure and the heaviest light scoops dominating the roof. The Nelson Atkins Museum of Art Extension, completed in 2007, is another one of Hall's most notable works. Located in Kansas City, Missouri, it occupies roughly 165,000 square feet and is constantly lit. The extension houses contemporary art, as well as African art, photography, and special exhibitions. 
The design for this section of the museum is comprised of five selections that Hall describes as lenses. The lenses create an experience of a meandering path around the landscape of the east side of the museum. The majority of the artwork rests underneath the block forms sitting in the bottom of what Hall calls breathing tees. These tees filter a natural light descending into the lower part of the galleries. The original plan for the museum renovation was to create a new entrance. However, Hall's original design would considerably obscure the north facade of the building. As a result, he proposed placing his renovation on the east wing of the structure. When in the design phases, he stirred great controversy amongst critics, who sometimes described the design as a grotesque metal box. In spite of this, after opening in June of 2007, he was praised for his creativity. Creating this portion of the museum allows a different world for the patrons and does not challenge the past, but creates alternate views of the landscape. Stephen Hall creates several other expressions of art along with architecture. Watercolor is one of his favorite mediums to express forms of his architecture and also has a passion for furniture. His furniture creations are very suggestive of his buildings and his style. The theme of light through screens recurs, much like in a majority of his architecture. He is able to create a lively product that is exceptionally interesting. has created hundreds of projects that are worth a closer look. His devotion to becoming a great architect has made him a value figure in art world. Stephen Hall is a postmodern genius who creates geometric brilliance by using light and form to transform his audience.